Howdy, howdy. Well, here we are. Back at that big uh, blowed out job we got going on. Hope everybody's doing all right. Now, I thought they were going to send us back over here. There's a, a lot of the customers are waiting. The customers that are crushing are waiting for uh, the price, see what, see what it's going to be like. I guess they're thinking it's going to go down. I'm kind of trying to do something different. Instead of loading over there, we're going to try to start loading in this area. I mean, we can move anything we need to. That's the beauty of this job. <laughs> I remember when I was a kid, we took a mosquito you gonna die I think I got it I know I hear that too I gotta get my hand control greased up when I was a kid we took a trip out west and uh, we got to uh, to come carry New Mexico and my dad said you know Two can carry better than one can carry. <laughs> well, look at here, Dad. My loader can four can carry. <laughs> How about that? So you can see we've got a lot of work done. I think 400, well, let me not say we. Now, me and Mario, we were over here Saturday, but there's been another crew been over here. And then uh, the guy over here on the big loader, he's kind of like the night shift. Uh, the mill, as far as I know, the mill's still running 24 hours. And the guy on the big loader, he comes in at like noon, I think around 10 or 10.30, something like that, they, they split. They got some... Uh, some of those super awesome LED lights. Boy, that them LEDs changed a lot in the industry. I mean, golly. Them light bar, and they're bright. I mean, for real. I think that light bar they added to that loader over there has got, I don't know, maybe it's 36 inches long, something like that. And I mean, when it, when it comes on, it lights the joint up. You get work done in the dark. Sorry about the dust. Let me hit that wiper and see if that helps at all. A little bit. Help me. I guess that's what's really important. I mean, I'm, out of all of us, I'm the one that probably needs to see the most. <laughs> um. I forgot my notepad with all my questions. Golly. I said the next time I come over here, I was going to do a... I'm sure we're going to be here tomorrow. I was going to do a question and answers. I got some of y'all's uh, questions written down on a notepad and uh, pertaining to that to this job site or some other questions too. I'm going to get my grease. Get this hand. Get this hand control. Well, hey, look here. I got my first copyright strike. I have, I've already made one video here and uh, I went to upload it and then uh, got an email. Hey, look here, dude. Can't be doing that. I, what, I, what happened was I had to, the, the radio was just a little too loud. And I guess they heard a song or something and so I'm all you got, folks. <laughs> Glad you guys sticking with me. Thank you much, guys. Thank you so much. I super appreciate it. I know this ain't super exciting. I like the crushing part. I mean, I like this too. And what I really like right, right now, uh, 
we filled a mill up. There's a mill. Well, not a mill. It's a uh, scrap yard that has a shredder. Hang on a second. All right, got two different people telling me two different things. Just getting on my nerves. Oh, well, I'll just put the bundles wherever. One guy's like, put them over here. One guy's put them over there. Jeez. I'll just make another roll right here. Somewhere about right here. Yeah, I got my first copyright strike. Hey guys, I'm working on my, I, I worked here for six, seven years, not my cat, I can't, six or seven years, long time, and uh, I've got so many stories out of this out of this place, <laughs> I mean, some of them I'm trying to figure out how to tell, because y'all know what kind of channel I run, I mean, I'm not saying they're totally not for you, you two, just I got to figure out how to tell them in certain ways. Oh, I've had some so many good laughs up in here. I had some heartache up in here too, but that's where I cut my teeth. This is where I where I was on a loader every single day, all day long. Long fork, 16 foot long. I worked here probably a year and a half. And this guy, the owner here, he bought a brand new crusher and they parked it out back. And back then we had them uh Y'all know those those Nextel push to talk radios? And uh, he hit me on the radio. He's like, hey, man, you see that new crusher back there? And I was like, yeah, yeah, I see it. He goes, well, I want you to do my crushing. And I was like, you know, I've never done it before. And he goes, yeah, but you've seen it two or three times, right? And I go, yeah. When I was at the scrapyard, they brought in a crusher a couple, three times. And I mean, I didn't stand there all day and watch them crush, but... I watched it crush a couple times. He's like, well, look here. I'm going to send this guy over there. He's going to show you how to crush. That man turned the machine on. Pushed a button and said, this makes it go up. This button makes it go down. It's not rocket science. Good luck. <laughs> and he got back in his truck and drove away. And that was my crushing training. And even the owner would come through and he'd see me struggling and I'm like, hey man, why don't you, why don't you got 10 minutes? Just show me, show me what to do, you know, like the tricks and stuff. And he's like, you'll figure it out. You'll figure it out. And it was <laughs> figure it out or get down the road is what he was really saying. I like it when they just come off this pile like this. This must have been some of the cars I crushed. They sure look like it. I just don't remember getting this far. We might have already been. I did say when we get to the trailers, which should be some of my stuff, but I thought we, I was at the far end of the trailers, but some of this junk's looking like mine. I mean, that looks like mine. Nice and flat, and I, mean, I know it's crushed cars, and everyone's like, "What? What are you looking at?" But you can tell the difference.
But what I could do is all the good looking bundles, I could say those are mine. <laughs> and all the ugly, ugly ones, I could say, oh, that was that other dude he had crushing for him. <laughs> oh, that ain't mine. No way. I mean, it makes sense to start filling up this way because we're driving too far to set them down. That's the whole point of it. You don't you want to put as little work into it as you can. Oh, here's, I know here's, well, I want to give credit to the person that asked the question, but we'll just do that tomorrow. I'll bring that notepad. It's in the truck. I just don't want to get off the loader. Go get it. I'm working. <laughs> I don't know how thrilling this is of a video. <laughs> so I think we've got 400 and I think when I, I looked at it this morning when we got over here, I think it was at like 476, something like that, 476 loads out of here. pick up this differential but a lot of times the forks are too wide for them there's all kinds of squeaks going on in my loader chair squeaking hand control squeaking that's what you get for opening the doors <laughs> you don't ever open the doors you keep all the dust out there I'm starting to more and more think this is might have been something I crushed I don't know the way that buckhorn has been towards me I've been um I bend one end, you know, I bend them in together like they're, instead of being pushed towards the outside and they're both going the same direction, that's not how I fold the long stuff up. See how that buckhorn's facing, facing us? I tuck them in the other way. Like you're crossing your arms with your belly. That's how I do it. Fun, fun, fun. Get it, get it, get it. Where's the trucks? Where's the trucks? Well, if we're using a lot of owner operators on this job. Them boys have the right to go get loads wherever they want. And a lot of them guys got like their primary customer. And when that primary customer slow, they'll come over here and get some. But when that primary customer, their number one customer, their steady work, well, they got to service them guys, you know. I don't blame them. And you can kind of consider this, like some people refer to it as like, you know, quick cash. They call it the low, low hanging fruit. Like they know they can just come over here and snatch a load, especially when the cowboy's here. I get them loaded up, get them down the road. Hey, that trinket I pulled off of that uh, that fifty model Chevy truck, it's broken. I'll show you. See the wings, and it's like cracked right there, and. Don't break the window or a piece of junk. And look, it's lit. There's a bulb. I know it's hard to see down in there. There's a wire coming out of it. I guess that used to light up, but 
Yeah, so right now I just got some junk riding around in my loader. Thought I had me a sweet trinket. Nope. Just some junk. Story of my life. Took the time to pull something off and guess what? It was broken. I should have looked at it better instead of got in such a big hurry. But I had to get work done. There, the truck was already there. that Mario's shoulders are gonna be burning. I don't know, Mario's a pretty tough old dude. He does that um, concrete foundation, like houses, like slab houses, I mean. He does that, they go in there and they fix all that, dig the trenches under them and put the jacks, lift the house up and all that jazz. Don't sound like no fun to me. Yeah, I asked him next time he's at the uh, flea market to let me know. I go over there and maybe we'll go live with Mario at the flea market. I bet that'd be a lot of fun. That would be pretty cool, you know? It's kind of like some of my lives. You know, it's different to hang out when you're not at work. You're just hanging out and bull jiving. guys over here at Copart, they haul blood on them loaders. I mean, that's third, fourth gear all day long. Here he comes. Look. Yeah, you don't see people walking around in that yard because they know everybody's out there super getting it. That boys haul butt. Fourth gear. Got to be. All day. Put that bad boy in auto shift. I've been offered jobs over there a couple of three times to be a loader operator in that, that IAA that's across the street. But, man, you, you damage anything and, you know, accidentally pop a tire on a car or something, and it's just, it ain't worth it to me. Not, not the money they were talking. I'd rather, I'd rather take less money and get to toss these things around like junk and treat them like junk. Instead of sit there and baby something that's like a, it's been wrecked so hard it's been deemed you know totaled or you know by insurance department, but you got to treat it like it's you know eighty thousand dollar brand new car. Yeah, I'd rather I'd rather get paid less and not have the stress. Whoa, is that another T-shirt? <laughs> I mean, I would think crushing would be a whole lot more fun than moving them cars around and then putting them on trucks. No, no, thank you. No, thank you. Get a better bike, cowboy. There we go. Yeah, two can carry better than four can carry. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, we'll probably be here tomorrow, I'm sure. Yeah, 
the boss was like, hey, you, do you want to go over there and crush? Or you want to go over there and down stack bundles and load trucks? There's a crusher set up on the other side of that pile. But I know the guy, the other guy, that, that's his, that's his, you know, the equipment he uses. And I'm like, no, dude, no, I don't. If it was anybody else's crusher, that'd be fine. But no, I'm all right. I'll go there and down stack. God, there's a lot of cars here. Jeez. There's still probably another 200 yards worth of cars. Was it 16 rows wide, 15 rows across? A lot of cars. Ooh, looks like we got a headache coming up. That, that, back, that top bundle's leaning pretty bad. Yeah, that's somebody else's. <laughs> yeah, well, it's not mine. I still don't think these are my cars, though. They're crushed pretty decent, but... I still ain't seen no wildlife, either. I ain't seen no rats. I'm sick of seeing cats. Seen a bunch of butterflies. Um... Uh, Right here in Dallas, well, the mid cities is what they call it. One of the cities in between Fort Worth and Dallas It's called Grand Prairie. And they actually have a flight of the Monarch Festival. And this, they, the Monarch butterflies do come through this area. And I was out here on a Sunday one time and there was millions of butterflies crossing this yard. It, it, was, it was super cool way before I was doing YouTube. I think I had one of them old cheap old track phones. <laughs> I don't even think it had a camera. <laughs> no. That was back in the day. Run out of minutes. Go to a gas station, buy you some more minutes. <laughs> Boy, that stuff sure has changed. I remember a kid, a buddy of mine in school, when I was a kid, his dad was like one of the first people that in our area, they had a cell phone in it or a phone in his car and the equipment was, I mean, there was like four like shoebox size deals in the trunk, the wires and all right. Well, we can either be a hero or a zero. I really should get off and take a look at it and see what it looks like on the back side. See if I can push on it. It's pretty bad. Sorry about the glare. I can always just keep pulling from somewhere else. But we got the time right now. Cowboy ain't ever really been a pass the buck kind of guy. I don't think today's the day to start being that way. I'm just trying to pretty much wedge these ports in there. Man, I gotta fix that hand control. That's weak and wearing me out too. All right, we're gonna turn, we're gonna start leaning, folks. No, oh, it's too far gone. It's too far gone. I'm giving another little shot. I 
get past the leaf spring. Oh, the top car went. God dang it. It ain't easy being easy. It sure ain't. It sure ain't. You can always tear it down and recrush it. That made a mess. Made a big mess. What are you gonna do? See me carrying that with two fingers? <laughs> two fingers. <laughs> now the way I'm through the leaf spring and the leaf springs on the fork there, it's keeping it from rolling off. See, they had them stacked up super high. They had some trash and stuff. There was a gap between them. So probably what happened is you, someone stacked it up and it was fine. But then when they started bringing that second row in, it probably bumped them and pushed them over. That's what I'm imagining happened. <laughs> All right, what are we doing? I need to swing by the phone store and see if someone in there tip them five dollars and see if they'll show me how I can send two files at one time. Because what happens is. It's on a muffler. What happens is, is when I start recording and it goes over 33 minutes, it turns it into two files. But when I go to upload, it doesn't ever upload both those files. I made several videos long out there at them 
them Mustangs, one of them was 45, 47 minutes. One of them was like 52, but only 33 minutes of that stuff uploaded. I'll figure it out. See, they got all them wheel stands. Those are those wheels they weld up and they make jack stands, wheel stands out of them. And you set the cars up and people can pull parts from underneath them. It created a gap. And allowed them bundles to fall over. Yeah, we'll, we'll do some questions and answers on the next video. Be a little more entertaining. I hope it will be. God, we're getting big for his britches. I hope y'all enjoy it. Shoot. I'll upload this real quick, and if y'all got any questions, put them in the comments section. We'll see how many we can get to in 30 minutes. 33 minutes and 23 seconds. Y'all be careful, be kind. Cowboys making laps. Hey, yeah.